Well guys, I've been fishing a lot in the last year and I really can't say the last time I've been this excited to go fishing. We're out here with Tom Harrelson from Tom Harrelson Guide Service and we're fishing an absolutely legendary lake here in Mexico, Sugar Lake. This is like the home run derby, big bass destination. If you want to go catch a double digit, this is probably one of your best bets. They're post ball right now, so it should be a great numbers day and maybe a big one will show up. I don't know, I know they're in the trees. We're just gonna have to hammer it out. They're just not gonna bite as good as they usually do until, unless something changes. They catch one over seven and a half. Though. That should be pretty damn easy. Actually, we usually catch five, six, seven, eight, nine of them sometimes. She had some bad voodoo with her. There's a bite. He's got it. Oh, oh yeah. He's not that big. He's not that big. He just he went them. ripping. Yeah, he, just, he left a huge just swirl strong. too. They just oh. got little bitty mouths and fat bodies. Yeah, it is a female for sure. Oh yeah. That's but you see how small the mouth is? That fish would, with well, that body would normally weigh like two pounds on a different lake. And this oh yeah, thing. that's near and four. These fish are just not cooperating. Not. They're not. I mean, Ooh. we should have caught an easy thirty right now. They ain't having it. And. He was wearing regular glasses. You just look like a goon with regular glasses. Oh, he's got one. He thinks it's a big one. Let's see. Do I get the net? Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh my God! Seven six? I don't think. It's no, I don't think, I think that's seven, seven six. Eight. I think it's a little over but six. But right in that center console, there's a scale if you want to weigh him. That's definitely a I six pounder. Fish. Yeah, it's definitely a six pounder. Yeah, he's definitely. Well, yeah. Might have to those yeah, things. I'm thinking this is too bulky for him. Where are those sankos? In the center. There's a big bag of them. Yeah, there's one here. Off, off. Can't believe I'm going to Sugar Lake and downsizing to a Sanko because he's catching them. There's one. I gotta land this one. I can't go 0 for 4. That's your first sugar like bass. Yep. Feels good. Feels real good. It's not a six pounder, it's not Parix, but we'll get bigger. Where are you at? No got way. You got him. <laughs> Did you see that? I yeah. think it's a good one. It's a pretty good one there. Eh? What? That was the weirdest shit. <laughs> it was you were in a tree. He grabbed it as I was trying to pull off. He didn't want to get away, did he? I don't want to break your yeah, rod. Yeah, grab it from the back. And the absolute just fluffing fours. Five, four? I think it's a four. That's a four. He used to be caught in the gill net a lot. He, look, look. Who's in the gill net? Well, he had been at one time in his life. Really? See that line around him? Yeah. That's a gill Where net line. That's crazy. Oh, well, there's a good fish. I was getting it up out of a stick and ready to reel in. And as I was reeling in, this guy took it. The Stanko. Actually, apparently Flair says Stanko. I didn't know that, so I got yelled at for calling it a Stanko, saying that's Flair's thing. So there's always a population of fish in these hardwoods. Always. They're just year depending round. how deep they are. Yeah, year round. Yeah, depending. It depends. Like if the lake drops real low, then they're out in those last ones up there. Because those last ones are like in 10 over there. Yeah. Finally got him out. I saw him bite. When you, when you picked up on him, he hit it. Oh yeah, I got the stinker dinker curse. No, it's just something's going on where those bigger ones are kind of shut down. Are we moving? Yeah, yeah we're gonna move. I'm just gonna idle so I can get out of here. That's the wind don't blow into the trees. All right, now we've relocated. Is this just another like spawning bay? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, spawning toads that whenever there's 
there was some spawning up in here. But it's also a good place for the ones that spawn back there when they're migrating out. Yeah. To stop on. After that, he caught maybe five or six. But he had lots of bites. I let it sit there for like five seconds. <laughs> that might be the new tactic. I was fixing something on my reel. Just letting that Sanko sit there. Well, that's when he thought he was stuck. Oh, he's bleeding hard. <laughs> I think he swallowed it. Uh, no, Bandit. Bandit. I mean, Ranger. <laughs> bandit. You call him Bandit? Yeah, yeah I don't know why I keep, I keep calling him Bandit. <laughs> I got you. I don't know how big you are, but I got you. Fortunately, got the gills on that one, but he'll be good. No, I got the fish. I got the gill on that one. He was bleeding good. Oh, you got one now. Yeah. Maybe I gotta soak this Sanko that on trees. As soon as it hit the water. They put these nets and it's kind of. You get used to it. I, yeah, first. Oh, nice. Eric, you ever see a tilapia bed? No. Have you seen a tilapia bed? Oh, yeah. They're like this big and like this they deep. Make deep. They make them yeah. Deep. That's a good one. Oh my God. Where is it? Oh, oh yes! Oh my gosh! Yes, that's my PB. That's for definitely. Sure. That's, that's an eight. Oh bed. my gosh! That's an eight. They are, you could oh. turn around. <laughs> Dude, I got so lucky. He shot out. <laughs> so I was yeah. saying, it takes a little bit of luck to catch a fish like that. Oh yeah, he couldn't turn him around. I knew it was a good one. But he spawned out. Imagine if that thing was full of eggs. That thing spawned out? Yeah. Man, he's got a red bloody tail. But no, no eggs in him or her. Very oh. high sevens, low eight. What do you think? High sevens. Yeah. Because it's it's poor. It yeah. might it might touch eight. Eight, eight three. three. Oh, Wait, told you. Eight, seven, eight, one. Eight, one, locked. Eight, one. Wait. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> oh, my the, God. I just threw the scale and libel. God, so worth it now. Oh yeah. Right. Okay, we're gonna make a move. All right, we're making a move. I gotta get on the big fish board. This is a bull. <laughs> you got a hey, six. Last, you got an you eight. The last tree we were gonna fish to catch him. Yeah. Well, cool. Cool, well, you cool, see cool. How that fish hit, held it for a long time before he set the hook. Yeah. Because <laughs> when he said it's out, it was swimming away. I mean, you called the fish, you'll see in the footage, he's like, I got a fish, and you were kind of in the way. And he kind of moved so he wouldn't hit your rod when he set the hook. Yeah. And his, and his rod never did unload, it just stayed down. These when Mexican you, bass are just different. They're, oh, they fight real hard. Yeah. You, you uh, get your heart broke if you fish fishing less. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, that fish could have just easily been 13, 14, 15 pounds. The main, the main mm -hmm. You start off throwing crawl, and then off oh, that stick. It's not that big. No, it's not that big. They will not quit. You said the tiniest little stick. Yeah, and that's not a decent fish for a little stick like the size of a pencil. But you yeah. What if you missed them and then I flipped in there and caught a kill? Oh, I'd push you <laughs> off the boat. You'd be swimming right camera now. Camera or no camera, you'd be in the water. Yeah, you'd be asking the cartel for a ride back. <laughs> He was wrapped around so many sticks. Look at the, oh, look at all this brush I cut to get this fish. Oh no, that's the bullet. Wait, <laughs> I thought that was a piece of brush. Oh. Wow. You thought you had a ton. I did. I thought you had a good. I was gonna go, go for the net to the truth. Totally thought this was a big fish. That's okay though. One of these times it's going to be. I tell him, I, I have to see it first, because I, and then I, because a lot of times it's on a stick or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he loves crying wolf on biggins. Then he gets a big one on it, he doesn't say, <laughs> you got one? Oh, they got one. Starting to bite. Yeah, they are starting to bite. God. These fish have like a yellowish tint to them from that watercolor. 
Oh, those are pretty. Oh, some, of their, some of you catch them and their fins are nice and yellow. Another good one. I want to hear about 10 pounders. There's a really famous clip of him at uh, Yamamoto's Ranch. All right, guys, it's about 4 o'clock, 4.15. This is going to be the last spot of the day because we got to make sure we cross back into the States before sunset. And we also have to drive back to Dallas tonight, and I have to fly back to Cincinnati tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So it's going to be a fun next 12-ish hours for myself. Going to be wishing I was on Sugar Lake flipping trees. Work permits for families that see each other, visitors. It's not a very big bridge. It's only a one lane, you know, one lane each way. God, I'm not gonna get over how hard these fish fight. Just another. I've caught. I've not, haven't caught a giant. But I have caught so many chunky two to four pound fish that fight like they're five, six pounders. Still got a little time left to catch the trophy, but even if I don't, this has been an unreal day of bass fishing. So I didn't get your hooks out or anything? No. God. I did. You did? Well, I just caught this five or six. My SD card literally just filled up probably seconds before I set the hook on her. Hey, That's Ranger. It's a good five or six. Pretty, pretty Mexico bass. Let it go. Sweet. <laughs> and now that we got the GoPro back on, I have another SD card in it. Now Look let's get little stick. Now let's get oh, the it's double digit. It's probably got a bigger base than it looks because it's pretty deep. That last fish, you guys couldn't see it, but I pitched to the base of a really big tree like that. We were right next to it. And these fish are in a weird, funky mood. I had to lift and drop it about like almost 10 times to get that fish to bite. It seemed like I was in that tree forever, but she finally crushed it and then she came up and just exploded, wrapped me around the tree. And that is when you need the 65 pound braid. Cause my 20 pound that I was using, I would have lost that fish, no doubt in my mind. So 65 pound braid, 25 pound fluoro. Fluoro is almost better in trees like this cause it won't cut into wood like braid will, but I'm getting away with this good i don't know yeah i think so yeah i think so oh jeez. no he's an eight pounder or something that, that is a giant <laughs> oh my god you want me to lift him you want to net him he's got oh yeah that's, that's kind of pointless if you got a net oh my god oh my gosh dude that that might be is that bigger than eight About, it's not a giant it's just an eight not a giant oh my that's eight. yeah that's that's two eights on the day eight. two eights and two sixes is an off day oh god i got a little mail that just jumped me off there she goes god that motor's not going to make any headway, huh? Yeah, it's getting somewhere. They are stacked on this point. That's crazy. That's about it, guys. We are. And it's 5 o'clock. Yeah. Finito? Yep. Finito. The wind's blowing. I'm happy. It was a great day. Estamos terminado. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yep. 